Pav and Elizabeth, a wedding photographer based in San Diego. And I thought that for today's video, I would do something a little bit different and explain what a day in the life of a wedding photographer is, at least in my case. So I know a lot of people wonder what photographers do when they're not shooting a wedding or shooting an engagement. And that's definitely something I'm going to touch on today um, because we're certainly not just sitting around at home all the time. We are working. I sh actually spend more time in the office than I do shooting. Most of my job is office work and like 10 or 20 percent is shooting. Shooting. So it's not the reverse, which some people might think. Um, it would be kind of impossible for me to just shoot every single day, all day, and actually get all my work done. So it's something that I find interesting for other people to learn about what somebody does and like their average day in the office or at work. So I'm gonna talk about how I approach each work day and how I like approach the wedding day or if I have an engagement session. So most of my time is spent in my office and I'm actually really thankful that because I'm so organized and type A, I love efficiency and I love systems and programs that help me. I typically don't spend 40 hours a week working in my office. It's usually more like 25 to 30. Some weeks are more than others, um, especially in my slower season right now. I'm definitely working less hours per week because I don't have weddings going on right now, just one here and there, and it'll ramp back up in spring, and then I'll have so much more to do. So it's something that is right now like a little bit slower for me, which I love. I love some off time, but most of the time I'm definitely not working 40 hours. When I first started my business, I actually probably spent more like 60 hours a week working, but I was setting up a lot of programs. I wasn't as organized. I didn't have as good of systems. So for me, having those systems and programs and apps that I use kind of helps automate a lot of my work. And it's something that I'm so thankful for because the goal of working for yourself, at least for me, was to not be spending 40 hours a week working. I want to go out and do things. I want to go on a walk. I want to exercise. These things are important to me. So I try to work smarter so that I can work less and have more time to enjoy the things that I want to enjoy in my life. So on a typical work day, I will typically get out of bed and I will make breakfast, use the restroom, do all those sorts of things. And then I will typically walk into my office, which is right here. I'm still in the process of getting decorations for it. So at some point soon, hopefully there will be pretty things behind me and still working on my filming setup. So just bear with me until it gets really pretty. But I will typically come in here and I will start working on my emails. And then once I've kind of dealt with the emails or if there have been any kind of additional task, maybe somebody emailed asking for something for me to do, I will get that sort of thing done. And then what I'll do is I will start working on my to-do list, which I get from an app called Wonderlist. And that's something that I use to help me know what I need to do and what day it needs to be done on. So I love my Wonderlist. It's something that I use on my phone and my computer, but I will work down my Wonderlist. And then of course I'll get new emails throughout the day, or perhaps something will pop up that I need to go deal with. I will usually go exercise at some point during the day, whether it's morning or late afternoon. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, if I take a lunch break, I'm often eating while I'm at my computer, which I should probably not do, but I just come in here and I'll eat slowly and kind of do a little bit of work, or maybe I'll take a break, watch some stuff on YouTube, but that's mostly what an average day looks like. If I have editing to do, I'll do that. Um, sometimes I'll have phone calls with brides that'll get thrown in there throughout the day, whether whether they're about to book me or they're already a bride and we're just talking about logistics. Um, if I have an engagement session, those are typically scheduled Monday to Thursday. I normally don't do weekend sessions because I have to have some bit of a break or I might have a wedding or event going on. So they're weekday. So if I have an engagement session, I will leave early for them and I will get to the location and scout, find some places that I want to shoot my couple, do the engagement session and then come back home afterwards. So that's kind of what a normal day looks like for me, it's honestly quite boring. <laughs> so it's not like super glamorous or exciting. Most days I just come in here in my PJs or my workout clothes, no makeup, messy hair because nobody sees me. So that's kind of what I'm doing all day. It's not like super fun and glamorous by any means. It's very like, I don't know, <laughs> monotonous. I mean, I enjoy it, but it's nothing super exciting. Then when it comes to a wedding day, I am typically doing a lot of preparation for it. So the day 
day before, I will charge all of my gear. I will make sure that everything is tested and working properly. I'll pack it all up. I will figure out which styling tools that I wanna take based on the color palette of the wedding, pack those up. So it's doing a lot of packing the day before. And then on the day of, I will leave early for the wedding and we'll get there. I will review some details with my team and then we'll just jump into shooting the wedding day. And I'm typically there for about nine hours most days, sometimes 10. And after the wedding, I will come home and download the cards. And then from there, I just typically go to sleep. And then the next day I just rest and I try not to do anything so that my body can recover. So that is pretty much what a day in the life of a wedding photographer looks like, whether it is an office day or a wedding day. So that's pretty much my life. Um, I try to fit in time for social activities or a lot of exercise like I've mentioned, I'm usually working out five, maybe six times a week. So that takes up some time from my schedule. When we are fostering kittens, I will put a lot of time into that because they're so cute. So hopefully we'll get some new kittens soon and I can do a video all about fostering. I'm sure a lot of you guys love videos of cute little kittens. So I'll make sure to show those. You can see some on my Instagram story highlights if you want to go take a peek now. Um, but that's another thing that I do that will take time out of my day, which I am very happy to give. It is a great distraction from work. So that's really what my life is like these days. Um, sometimes I'm traveling for weddings. Sometimes they're just local. If they're traveling, I'll try to fit in an extra couple of days wherever I'm going just to explore the town. But that's pretty much it. Um, it's not like <laughs> rock star life at all. Like some people will think that you're just like shooting these cool things all the time. A lot of it is just boring office work and just standard things that most people at their jobs would do. But I hope you guys found this interesting. If you have any questions about how I spend my time in the office or the programs I use, whatever it is, feel free to ask me down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.